Episode 85, The Warner Siblings. Five years after Bambi's adventures, the Warner siblings have fixed their home, a water tower in the village. It is revealed that they are orphans. One day, Zazu the bird came to teach the three little dogs new things. Wacko sang the United States. Meanwhile, Jiminy Cricket appeared and told the Warner siblings there is a new resident in the forest. Episode 86 Jack the Fox. Somewhere in the forest, Wacko, Yakko, and Dot encountered and befriended a young fox. His name is Jack. Jack the Fox. The forest animals sang and danced to Never Give Up Hope, as the Warners helped Jack build his tree home. Elsewhere, Dot was a little sad because she believed that she has no friends. But then, when Prince Bambi appeared, he gave Dot the old fox toy. One night, after the Warners went back to the village, Pinky and the Brain are plotting to take over the forest. Episode 87, The Return of the Enchantment. The next day, a magician named Professor Hinkle came to the village. During a magic show, Hinkle abuses a tiny rabbit named Hocus Pocus, but the Warners helped Pocus escape and Hinkle gave the magic hat to Jack the Fox. At a mountain, Jack and the Warners built a magic snowman called Frosty. Episode 88, Tank Engine Ride. With help from the Warners, Jack used the magic hat to restore the enchanted forest to its former glory. The Fox and the Warners went on a misadventure with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Frosty as they ride Tom's the Tank Engine and escape from Hinkle, who is chased by Bumbo, the Yeti. Meanwhile, at Tommy Oliver's house, Pinky and Brain encountered Ronald's head. Suddenly, he magically changed into a zombie deer and plots to rule the forest. In London, Dot Warner sang the vote song as she plans to rebuild the forest. Jack turns out to be Todd's brother and a member of the Fox family. Episode 89, Snowball. One night at Acme Labs in London, Pinky and the Brain encountered an evil hamster named Snowball who works for Rano. The forest animals sang Pinky and the Brain. Episode 90, Skippy's Mission. One day in the Enchanted Forest, Wacko, Yakko, and Dot befriended Slappy Squirrel, who lived in a tree with her nephew, Skippy Squirrel. Later that day, Skippy told Dot that he is planning on stopping the zombie deer, Ronald, from taking over the forest. After Dot left, Skippy was later in love with her. Episode 91, Pinky and the Brain in the Forest. Somewhere in the forest, Pinky and Brain are caught by the forest animals who brought them to Prince Ronald. After he put the mice in a cage, Ronald sang, Be Prepared, as he revealed his terrible plan. Episode 92, Dot's Mistake. Jack the Fox and the Warners came and they freed the mice. After the escape, Dot went to visit Skippy, but Slappy kicked her out. When Brain says she does not fit anyone, Dot became dismayed and ran to the meadow, crying. Later that night, Dot cried herself to sleep. Bambi, Feline, and their fawns spend the night with Dot. Episode 93, Wacko to the Rescue. The next day, while Rano schemed, Wacko and Yakko took a ride on Tom's the Tank Engine to Bambi's treehouse. They are reunited with Dot and brought her back to the village. Episode 94, A Blue Day for Dot Warner. A month after the train ride, Jiminy Cricket and Bambi the Deer sang and danced to Look at Me Now as Jack the Fox performs with the villagers. Later that day, Thomas the Tank Engine visits Dot Warner in the village. Although she wears a pink robe, which she calls a nightgown, Thomas sees that Dot is very sad. She believes that she will never fit in. That night, while Wacko and Yakko were asleep, Dot sneaked out of the tower and tried to find a new home in the forest. 
After an encounter with Ronald, the zombie deer and his followers, Dot sang, If I could start again, after she escaped to Todd's cliff. Episode 95, The Golden Age. Three months later, Wacko and Yakko set off to find Dot. Meanwhile, Jiminy Cricket told the Warners about when he and Simba battled the Firebird. Elsewhere, Skippy Squirrel finds Dot, who spends time with a family of raccoons. After that, Dot and Skippy kissed. Just then, Dot happily reunites with her brothers. Later, the three Warners are adopted by Bambi, who welcomes them to his family. Episode 96, Return of the Green Ranger. Although Jack the Fox and Phil the Chimpanzee are fixing Bambi's treehouse, Tommy Oliver battles Ronald's followers. Episode 97, Raiders in the Forest. Pinky and Brain got rid of Snowball and moved in with the Warners. Episode 98, Rano. One winter day, deep in the forest, Rano sent an army of evil animals to hunt down the Warners. But Bambi, Pinky, and Brain rescued the Warner siblings, and they escaped. Jack the Fox defeated Rano's followers. Elsewhere, Dot saved Wacko and Yakko from Rano, who knocked her down with his antlers. Bambi chased Rano to Todd's cliff. As they fought, the zombie deer fell to the forest below. Tommy Oliver took Ronald's head back home and mounted it above the fireplace. With Ronald gone, the enchantment is broken. Bambi, Wacko, and Yakko found an injured dot. Episode 99, The Fox Family. At Bambi's treehouse, Dot is recovered. As Wacko, Yakko, and Dot embraced, Jack and his family visited Bambi and his family. At sunset, Jiminy Cricket sang The Enchanted Forest as he rides on Feline. Soon, Jiminy and Feline went on, and they vanished in the forest. Mm -hmm.